Hi there. Welcome back again to the Ivory Tower Collections. I thought I'd do a uh, short video for you guys today. This is a video that's going to talk about some interesting cartridges I have specifically for the Sega Genesis. And these aren't really uh, cartridges that play games. I featured them before in some other videos that I've done and I will have uh, I will put links for each one as I talk about them. But basically they're cartridges that are music albums on a cartridge. So essentially they're compilations of chip tunes done by different composers with uh, you know some visualization graphics what have you present as well that displays while the music is playing. So I thought I'd talk about my fairly smallish collection of those cartridges I have today. The first two that I want to talk about are these right here. This one is called Day Trip, as you can see by the label. And this one here, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it is called Blowfish. Now, the interesting thing about the two of these is that one is specifically a music cartridge or an album on cartridge. The other one is more or less just a graphics and music demo, similar to the kinds of demos that used to be present in the demo scene back in the PC days. And again, I featured these before. So the first one I'll talk about is Day Trip. Both of these were programmed initially by Sigflup. She's a well-known programmer in the uh, demo and homebrew type scene. And both cartridges feature music by JRED. In the case of Day Trip, it actually features music by both JRED and Groovemaster 303. Now, as far as I know, neither of these two are still available in a physical cartridge form, but uh, they're still pretty interesting to, to look at and to talk about, and especially in the case of Blowfish. It contains five separate tracks, all done by JRED. So great, excellent stuff to listen to. And again, I will have video links for the Day Trip and Blowfish cartridges, respectively that uh, you can click on to check those out. The next two that I want to talk about are right here. We have the YM2017 music album cartridge and the Future 2612 music cartridge composed by The Dead. Let's talk about the 2612, Future 2612 cartridge first. When I originally received this, it did arrive, as you see it here, in a clamshell and with the insert. Here is the cartridge itself. Now, Future 2612 is, uh, features music primarily composed by the, uh, by the Dead, but it does feature, I believe, one or two tracks that also features J Red's music as well. It's got uh, 13 total tracks on it and uh, uses sort of a playback visualizer, which is using the XGM player as its background. A lot of electronic industrial type music on this one. So again, that's not going to be probably for everyone's taste, but it's, it's really cool. This was available originally as a limited pre-order. So I don't believe you can get a physical cartridge form of this anymore. But uh, again, I will link a video that I have done that shows all of the tracks and the visuals together. You can still purchase this digitally, however, and I should have a link for that in the video description. So yeah, pretty cool. The YM2017 cartridge uh, came a little bit before, and it's a really cool one. It's a nine track music cartridge that features music from various different composers, composers such as J Red, Savage Regime, Lazaro Gonzalez, and many others. Very cool stuff. The programming and visual was done by Grind, and the cartridge itself was actually produced, as you can see here, by Cat Skull Electronics. I'll have a link for the complete video and playback uh, here as well. Now, again, this one did not originally come in a clamshell with the insert. That I added myself later is originally just cartridge only. But it's the cartridge that's really the key to this. And we'll see if my camera will focus in and be able to see that. So here is the YM2017 cartridge. And I apologize, we've got some nasty glare showing up there. But you might be able to tell, obviously it's in a translucent case. <laughs> you can see that. But you might notice that there's this uh, big square in the middle of it. That is actually an eight by eight LED matrix display. And basically what it is, is it's a visualizer. It's like a VMU 
for the music. So as you put the cartridge in and the music tracks are playing, you will actually see the LEDs light up with the music. So it's, it's a really cool visual experience, very unique cartridge. And again, I'll, I'll have a link for that so that you can see the entire music and sound for that. This was also initially limited on its release as far as physical cartridge goes. And there were actually two runs of the YM 2017 made, but they both sold out rather quickly. I believe it's only available now in digital format, so I will look and make sure of that. And if there is, I will also have a link for that in the video description. So, yeah. YM 2017, very cool cart. The last one that I can physically show you is also one of my newest ones that I got over the summer. It's this one here. It's called Color Mechanica. This one's completely different. First of all, as you can see, it is for the Sega CD. So this isn't an actual cartridge. It's actually a seven CD audio track album instead. All the music was composed by Note. Code and visuals were done by Batsley Adams. Now, the interesting thing about this one is it's not so much a music album in that this particular one, you don't just pop it in and just start playing and all the tracks play. You actually have to choose the tracks that you want to listen to on this, but it also features interactive visuals to go along with the track that you can switch between. And with the use of a second controller, you can also modify and do other effects. You could think of it as kind of like a an interactive rave CD of sorts. But this is actually still currently available. You can actually still buy this through Bandcamp, and I will have a link for that in the video description. I do not have a video of this one made up because, again, it's an interactive sort of thing. So there's not really an easy way to just pop it in and record the video and work with it properly to, uh, to make it work seamlessly. So I think there's some videos uh, online already, especially through the Bandcamp site that might show you some examples of some of the videos as well as the music. But uh, yeah, this one I haven't really been able to figure out a good way to make a video of. But still, it's pretty cool. Now, the very last one I wanna talk about, I do not physically have yet, and that is because it hasn't been released yet but I wanted to mention it because it was just recently announced. A uh, composer by the name of Remoot from the Bandcamp website has just uh, started pre-orders for his new Sega Genesis album cartridge, and that is going to be called Techno Optimistic. And I believe it's supposed to start shipping in March of 2019. But we'll have to see. A lot of these dates sometimes get missed. It's just how, how it works. But again, all the tracks on this one were composed by Remote and with the programming done by Kabuto and graphics by Exocet. It's going to contain 16 total tracks. I will have the link for the pre-order in the video description as well. So that'll be cool to check out. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll catch you next time.